Hey, my name is Cole and today we're going to be installing a BMW hitch into a 2019 Ram 2500 Cummins with the Mega Cab and the Ram boxes. Installation of these hitches are actually quite simple, but the first thing we want to do is drop the rear spare tire, pull out the guard from the exhaust to the tire, and then actually drop the rear hanger of the exhaust to give us a little bit more working room so we can get this new hitch put in. We've dropped the spare tire and this is done by removing this kit that is underneath the front passenger seat and this gives me my bottle jack, my DEF filter uh, funnel and the extensions and the turn bar. So you plug this in, turn it counterclockwise, rear tire comes out, get it out of the way. Now to remove the rear heat deflector from the, t the exhaust and get a little bit more access into here, we have these four 10 millimeter bolts and there's two more behind here. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll get to the next step. So here at the back of the exhaust, we have the exhaust hanger, and we're gonna remove that by using a pry bar and some soapy water. And then on the back of the exhaust where the hanger's at, it's a 5 8 bolt, and we'll remove this whole piece. That way we have room to work up in here, and this isn't getting in the way. So all this is just to prepare to getting the new hitch installed. So let's get this done. We've now removed the exhaust, which was sitting here. And we're gonna take this template, which comes in the box with the, the hitch, and we're gonna take it in the front of the cabs this way, and we're gonna slide it back up in here, lining up these holes, and then we're gonna clamp it in place, and then that's gonna give us our center mark. Look, we have everything in place and clamped together. Take a quarter inch bit, and let's drill our first hole. Now this is the exciting part. We're finally back on top of the truck bed and we're gonna make our first big hole so we can actually mount the hitch system into the bed of the truck. So I am using a three and a half inch spider metal drill bit with the Milwaukee hole saw. So hopefully this should make easy work of what we're doing. So let's line that up. Awesome, so we've cut the hole in the bed of the truck. Now we want to make sure that metal plate that's fallen through, we give it a few minutes to cool off so because of how hot it is, I'm gonna vacuum all this up and then we're gonna come over through here and we're gonna hit this with a little bit of spray paint to keep that from rusting. And then we'll start mounting from underneath. So while the paint's drying in the back of the truck, let's take a minute and kind of go over the system we're working with. And first off, this is the piece we were talking about earlier that we use to align everything up in the bed of the truck. So this actually will sit in the back of the truck frame like this with the flat piece facing forward. And that gives us our mounting or our drilling point so we can drill the big hole for this piece to go through. And what's cool about this is this is an eight bolt system. So I have two bolts in the front, two in the rear, two on each side. And then to get these bolts lined up, B&W makes this piece here where your bolts are actually attached to this big flange so I can slide it up and over the frame and lock it in place. But the other thing that's cool is they come with a 2 and 5 16th hitch for you and it just drops into place and if I release this lever it locks in but when it's not in use I can turn it upside down and it'll go all the way through and sit flush and then I can lock it that way so you can't get it out that easily but it also gives you a nice flat truck bed and i keep everything here versus some inside maybe the pieces at home and i'm not losing anything because it's all stored right here which is really nice so i have the hitch up here ready to go and there's a set of wires you'll see in a second that we kind of have to curve it around but by not having the exhaust and everything here it gives us a plenty amount of room 
and I went ahead and got all my bolts ready and b and goes ahead and puts thread locker on here so I don't have to worry about doing that when I tighten these bolts in and these are going to be a 5 16 sorry a 15 16 bolt so almost one inch so they're pretty pretty skookum Now that we have this installed and everything's tightened down, so you got two bolts in the front, two on each side, and then two on the back side. I will say this bolt here is gonna be a little tricky. It's gonna take a little bit of time. I did have to use a socket and a wrench to get on there and really get it tightened down. Once that is done, we're gonna take our bracket here, and this is gonna to connect to the pull arm, which is gonna unlock and lock the pin so we can pull it in and out. So we're gonna take two of our bolts, and we'll drop them through the back here. And it is a keyed section. Let's pull that out. So we can get to it. And turn those in so they're nice and tight. We'll go ahead and put that back. And we're just going to bolt this together. And I'll show you where that arm goes. So this is a 9 16 socket and now it fits so we can go ahead and tighten that down. This is the lever I was referring to and this is what unlocks and locks the pin in place. So right now it is locked open but if I pull on this and go right it goes back in. That is your locked position. So if I need to pull the pin out, pull it out, go over and it stays there. So I can now go in the bed, pull the pin out, flip it over, do what I need to and then put it like that and lock it back into place. The next step in this process is going to be to drill the four 11 16th holes here so we can put our U-bolts in for our safety chains. So I'm going to start off by marking all my holes and I got everything taped into place and then I'm going to use a small drill bit as a guide and then we'll kind of step up into that process. Now what's cool is the way this works is you have a cardboard template so we actually have the lock in and we're just setting the pin on top of it and then that's how we get our guide for what we're about to do so let's give this a quick little check we'll measure it up make sure everything's even still and then we'll make our drills so we finished drilling out all four holes and i personally went, ran into a little bit of an issue because the largest bit i have is a 9 16 and i could not find 11 16 at any of my local hardware stores so what i ended up doing is i used my milwaukee Dremel tool and I use one of the grinding bits and turns out this is 11 16 so that made easy work to make sure I had a straight hole going all the way through when we had to drill through the frame. Next we're going to drop these pieces in and there's a spring that's going to go on each one the large size goes on top and then we actually will lock that in and this is a 15 16 bolt and then after that put the truck back together and we're done. So now that we are done, we now have two Ram 2500 Cummins diesels with the B&W turnover gooseneck hitch. And one thing you'll notice is on the 18 version, the locking pins for the chains are actually a little shorter than what we have here on the 2019 version. So they do make a little bit of an adjustment there, making it a little bigger for bigger hooks. But overall, very simple, very easy to use and a one bad to the bone hitch to have on the back of your truck.